If you're having trouble to get your drums to poke through a densely populated mix, today's plugin is going to help you do just that and more. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Robert McClellan and this channel exists to simplify the complexities of a home studio and to help you make professional sounding music in a less than professional space. Now the plugin in question that we're talking about today is called Nanopulse by JMG Sound. Stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you could possibly win one of these to add it to your arsenal. All right, let's take a look at the plugin. And ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Nanopulse by JMG Sound. This amazing plugin will add power and punch to your attacks that will cut through any mix like never before. And you can literally enhance and shape your transients in a very innovative way. Now, the way that you can do this is because Nanopulse literally takes the profile of other expertly crafted attack sounds and applies them to your sound, giving you the power to morph the character of your transient or even replace it altogether. Then you can shape the dynamics to perfection with Nanopulse's multiband attack and sustain processor. Let's look at the controls before we actually get into any sound examples so that you can see exactly how this thing works. Now over here on the left hand side, you see an enhanced transient portion. This will allow you to morph the character of your transients with various profiles, as you can see here. Now these profiles were taken from drums, percussion instruments, noises, objects, and even more. You can use these character profiles to subtly enhance your existing transients, or like I said, completely transform them. And that can be done with these two knobs here. You can either take out the original transient altogether, and leave in only the enhanced or get a good blend of 50-50 if you'd like. It's completely up to you. Now with the middle section here, you also have pitch and tone. This gives you complete control over the pitch, the tone, and even with the slider found in the middle, the resonance to ensure that the drum sounds that you're designing fit perfectly with the mix that you're working with. Now just below this upper section, we have a shaper section. You can use this three band dynamic shaper to balance the relationship of attack and sustain independently for low, mid, and even high frequencies. You can also change the crossover frequencies and the slope to fine tune it to fit your needs. These six easy to use sliders give you immediate control to sculpt and shape your sound with lightning speed and precision. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, how does Nanopulse know what is a transient and what isn't? It's simply because of this detector section that we find down here. Nanopulse offers three different modes for detecting those transients, smart, spectral, and fast. Each has its own unique sound properties and benefits, offering you the flexibility that you need to suit your audio material. And of course, at the very bottom, we have an input and an output, which can be very useful with the next feature that I'm gonna talk about, which is the onboard limiter. With Nanopulse, you get a high quality limiter on the output that lets you either drive level in two or simply use it as a safety feature. And just below that, there's also a handy randomizer, which can create some unexpected inspiration. However, if you don't like the results that you get, you can actually hit the undo feature that's found just below that. All right, so now let's go ahead and get into some sound examples. However, I would encourage you not to walk away from this review based off of the source material that I'm using and say, this is what the plugin's gonna sound like. You can actually download a 15 day unlimited trial version for free. And yes, this has no saving limits, no noises, no boundaries. Literally, it is a fully functional working plugin for 15 days. All right, let's take a listen to it being utilized on these live drums. Now with Nanopulse, you don't actually get a bypass button, you get a power button. When the power button is red, it is in an off state. As you can see, the lights go off around the edges here of Nanopulse. When I turn it back on, however, these blue lights that sort of light up the edges, they come back on. So I'm gonna start with the plugin disabled and let you hear what they sound like before. And then I will bring in Nanopulse with some quick settings here that I've just dialed in in about two seconds <laughs> and let you hear what they sound like. So loud noise in three, two, one. Pretty straightforward, doesn't sound bad at all, but now let's enable Nano Pulse. Disable. Enable. Now, as you can see, the low end of that kick got a lot beefier. The snare began to crack even more and without any volume gain in the high end of this drum bus. 
And I would like to make mention of the fact that this is on a drum bus. However, if you wanted to add this to each individual kit piece, I guarantee you could even create a bigger sound than what I'm doing right now. Okay, let's hear this in context with the mix though, because yes, drums on their own, they sound punchy, they sound beefy, but what is it doing in context with the mix? Likewise, I'm gonna go ahead and play around with some of these settings while the backing track is playing behind it, so you can kind of get a feel of how it's gonna change in reference to the mix as a whole. All right, let's take a listen. Loud noise in three, two, and one. Okay, so after playing with this for just a little bit, I actually switched to a setting called Real Feel, and to my personal preferences and my tastes, it actually sounded even better than the Alpha Strike that I had it originally on. As you can see, the Nano Pulse just literally makes those drums come alive in the mix. It helps them to poke through a densely populated mix with a lot of frequency information happening all at once, and it didn't add any perceived volume. It just literally made them do what it was supposed to do. It enhanced the transients. All right, and for those of you who have stuck around to this portion of the video, there should be a small ticker at the top right hand corner of your screen now. Click on that to find out how you can get entered into a drawing to win one of three of these plugins. All right, that's all I've got for you today, guys. Remember, there is a free 15 day trial version of this plugin. Go and download it and check it out. I guarantee that you're going to be pleasantly surprised about how fast this thing can get drums to poke out of a mix and sound a whole lot better. Until next time, remember, we can dream alone, we can even create alone, but together, we can achieve so much more.